Many of you have watched the recent demolitions on the uh, Barclays Arena site, and many have also watched the site preparation and pouring of the concrete foundation for the arena. A number of us, of us in the community, including uh, myself, have a number of questions and issues, and, hope, and we hope that uh, going forward we can continue the dialogue with the Forest City Rider and ESDC. I have been working with Borough President Marty Markowitz and staff to create a mechanism so that construction-related issues will be addressed and responded to in a timely fashion. Next month, we will see the first of regular service cabinet meetings bringing together elected officials, community boards 2, <coughs> 6, and 8, Forest City Ratner, and ESTC, and all the agencies that will be able to effectively deal with any construction-related issues impacting residents or businesses. Community members will be able to contact their elected official or community board and they will bring your concerns to the service cabinet. In addition, I have reached out to Forest City Ratner and asked for an update with respect to the following issues, including but not limited to the following issues. WMBE, um, yeah, opportunities for local businesses, women businesses and businesses of color, local hiring, uh, traffic issues, security issues, um, issues with respect to open lots, um, and hopefully that they would not be used as parking lots. Um, strategies uh, on how to address um, traffic in it when we have game night. I'm hoping and urging Varsity Ratna to issue an RFP, um, open cup competition for local community-based organizations to compete for programs um, on the plaza. I have been informed um, that the project's first residential building will have a 50, 30, 20 affordable housing program where 30% of the units will be middle income affordable and 20% will be low income affordable. Um, this evening, we are here to listen to your concerns and to answer those issues that relate to the current work of the Arizona <coughs> Plaza and the Carlton Avenue Bridge and look forward to a continuous, a continuous dialogue um, with developers on this project. Thank you. Um, I want to say thanks to everyone for being here tonight. Uh, we got a, a preview of this presentation a couple of days ago. I think it's a, it's a live and with a lot of things to talk about. It. And, uh, forward to hearing it and then having an opportunity to have some questions asked about it. Um, I'm especially encouraged with what we've just heard from uh, the President's Office, from ESDC, uh, and from my colleague Councilmember James uh, about plans for uh, an ongoing series of dialogues to address some of the uh, construction-related issues that, that are going on now. Um, but I also want to acknowledge something that I feel like is an obligation and, and relates to something that I've uh, asked for city as well. Uh, this is the second time uh, that I'm going to participate in asking you to focus on uh, questions about a very particular piece of the project in the presentation at hand. Tonight that's about the public plaza. There's a lot to see, um, and we're asking that the comments and questions be about the public plaza. We did the same some months back uh, around the street closures. We had a, a large public forum at uh, the Lafayette, Lafayette Avenue. And, uh, and did the same thing. Um, and I sort of feel an obligation now because there are a lot of other important questions, uh, many, many. You know, the Tish mentioned some of them uh, about how traffic will be handled, about how uh, a whole series of things about the new benefits on the project move forward, about what the timetable is, about how the development moves forward um, that are relevant to me and I think relevant to a lot of other people in the community. Um, and we're working hard to make sure that there's an opportunity um, whether that's in a sort of series of things or whether uh, in a larger one for there to be some space for those broader set of things to be heard, discussed, and dialogued. That said, what's upon us now, what's important now, is, uh, is take a look at this design, which is sort of the next thing that's on the, on the table and on which Forest City Ratner is uh, an FIC Development Corporation elected to receive feedback. So thanks very much for being here tonight. Um, uh, obviously, uh, this is a long haul, uh, the, the steps that are going to be forward something we're going to be working on together um, for a, a good long time to come and uh, something we have to figure out how to do together. So thanks very much for being here.